guys, what's going on? This is Peanut Thrower here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map, aka La Bam. So, guys, last episode on La Bam, um, I actually forgot what we did, guys. <laughs> Gotta be completely honest. Um, maybe something. Oh, you're right. It had to do with the uh, the the land that we're working on. Let's see. Let's quickly go slash TP. Uh, what is it? Zero twenty five zero. There we go. So. Uh, let me reset this. Let's get ourselves a red to red torch. No, <laughs> let's get ourselves a redstone torch. There we go. Uh, now it's all lit up. It's all ready to go. So let's just do the same thing. Go 125. There we go. And uh, let's just test this out. So let's clear the inventory and fall. And there we go. Yeah, it teleported. And nicely done. So now we are in the new lands. And uh, obviously we are blind. Uh, so we all know that it's all working out fairly well. Um, we did have problems yet last episode, though. I do remember it. It's coming back to me. Um, last episode, we got stuck. Uh, we were messing around with command blocks, and we got stuck, and uh, ended up having to uh, restart the server and uh, d disabling command blocks for the server, and uh, you know, a whole big mess. So um, I am happy to tell you guys that I fixed it. Um, hopefully, it works right now. But basically, the point of this was to. Uh, when we get near to this red, when you get near this uh, red uh, stack of wool, I guess you could say, yeah. Um, you get near this red stack of wool, um, it'll teleport you. I don't think it's going to actually work right now, though. But uh, let me quickly activate it. Hop down here. Yep, there we go. Um, just flick it on and off. Flick it on and off. There we go. And now, let's walk over here. So, keep on walking. And there we go. So now we are completely stuck right here. Um, we have invis in, uh, invisibility mode on right now, so uh, you can't see our hands. And uh, if you keep on walking in this general direction, um, you actually can't move, which is really good. And there was a little bit of a bug where we just had them like repeatedly teleporting in this general spot for a very long time. Um, and that was the problem. We couldn't teleport out of this at all. So um, obviously, this is, is fixed now. Um, thank you so much, uh, Rapid Fire MC. Big shout out to you. Um, he actually sent me a custom, not custom, but a. Um, it was pretty much his own design. I, I don't know. Uh, I think it was his own design, but uh, he sent me a video of his own design, and that helped me a ton uh, to get to, uh, to get to where this uh, this whole room is now. So basically, uh, if we reset this, um, there we go. Reset it. Everything's fine. So basically. Um, he had a like a really good idea of the person gets teleported to one block and then you get another blo uh, another block detecting let's see if I can get this um, you get another command block detecting whether or not this player is out of this block's radius so the block of this radius is obviously one so if the player walks out of this block radius he'll immediately get teleported back which is pretty cool so. Um, what it is, is I believe, first of all, it tests for the player um, at this certain block, which, um, well, first of all, it um, teleports me to, so first, test for in this general area, then it teleports me, where is it? Uh, that's not it, let's see. Is that it? No, okay, where is it? Um, there it is, okay, so it teleports me to um, this area, and basically, if I walked out of this area, so RM, so basically if I walked out of the blocks one block radius, um, this comparator would go off and would activate this command, which would teleport me back to the uh, the block, which is really good. And then up here is just the uh, effect at a inv is, uh, invisibility. That's how you say it. So 31, obviously we're all good. Bing, bang, boom. Um, and then we basically set a timer. So after all the talking and uh, you know the quest giving is done, It'll say set block negative 63, 41, negative 437 air. Um, also, thank you, Rapid Fire MC, for uh, telling me that in 1.8 they don't use item IDs anymore, and that um, you like almost you almost saved it. You, you pretty much saved us because we've been using IDs for a lot of things. So um, thank you for uh, you know uh, giving me the heads up. So uh, yeah, big shout out. Um, I've got more suggestions, guys, but I'll get to that. Um, throughout the video, uh, but yeah, just I uh, wanted to show you guys the redstone for it. Let's go back up. Oh, phone! Let me tell you something. Yeah, shut up right now. Put you on. Do not disturb. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So we'll go up. Um, do this thing one more time. But before we do it, 
Um, okay, I guess we already did it. We'll do slash effects, uh, piano thrower, uh, blindness, 99999, one. There we go. And so basically, um, let's walk out of it. There we go. So we're stuck on this block. And basically, this is going to be Mr. Dark or Mr. Black. So MC Mapindo, um, he also suggested the name Mr. Dark or Mr. Black. Uh, still trying to get that name down, <laughs> that name down, guys. If you guys can uh, leave in the description a uh, a good name uh, that you guys think, just leave it in the uh, description. I'll make sure to check it out. Not the description, the uh, the comment section. Basically, um, I'm standing on this block, and this is exactly how I will see Mr. Dark, which is like in the very 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 like edge of being pitch black which is really really cool because it'll be like mysterious you know <laughs> it'll be mysterious so um yeah i just thought that was pretty cool let's drink some milk um there we go we'll be good uh one more thing we need to do is uh time sets day there we go time set day awesome so um, I hope you guys uh, are en uh, what, enjoying it no um uh, i don't know where i was going with that but um I was going to say uh, thank you for, I was trying to pronounce it, Kulik111, yeah, hopefully I pronounced that right, um, Kulik111 said, uh, he practically just um, wrote down the whole entire storyline, it was pretty cool, he said, Mr. Dark should give you quests because he wants you to, he wants to use you, so Mr. Dark wants to use you, and if you, um, and if, wait, 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 <laughs> hold on guys, <laughs> sorry, 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 um, he, okay, Mr. Dark, should give you quests because he wants to use you. And if you will, he will tell you what is happening in the world. And then at the end of your map, Mr. Dark did the whole act. He was the bad guy the whole time. And he, uh, hopefully I know this, and he tricked you into the hole and made the nether corrupt the world. He dropped you into the hole because he knew he could save the world. And he realizes who that you can't remember him and that he tries to get to you uh, on his side. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> oh my god, just go check out the comment. I'll probably put it up on the screen because, um, obviously, that was terrible. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not the script, not the idea, but, uh, me reading it was terrible. Um, the, uh, the script and the, the whole storyline is, like, genius. I, pr I definitely would not have come up with that. Uh, so thank you very much, Kulik111, for, um, that comment. It helps me out tremendously. Um, lots of good comments, guys. Lots of good comments. Comments? Comments. But, uh, anyway, let's head back to the, uh, place. What is it? 125? There we go. So let's head back up here, and, uh, let's grab the next stuff for this episode. So, um, someone else suggested that, um, I use... So there's a waterfall, obviously, if you guys haven't noticed. We have a waterfall in our world. And, um, I'm gonna try to find his name. Um... Let's see. Okay, yeah. It was Tom Tom Draws. Thank you, Tom Tom Draws. Another big shout out. Um, so basically, he said, hey, in the pond, add some cobwebs at the end of the waterfall to add a bit of a splash to them. Um, and add some li lily pans in the pond, too. Um, really awesome series. Keep it up. Thank you, Tom Tom Draws. So um, as you can see, I was actually messing around with it earlier. Um, since you um, posted the comment, I was trying it out with snow, and I'm like, yeah, that does not work out. That does not look good. If we take a step back, it it, it just does not work. So, um, we need something a little bit more transparent. I think cobwebs will do the job, um, like he said. You're always right. So, um, there we go. Let's just replace this whole thing with uh, cobwebs. And I'm pretty sure it's going to look a lot better, um, in my personal opinion. So, there we go. And good and good. Wait, and good. Uh, if you guys have any other, you know, signy details that you guys would like to uh, put in the map, just leave them in the description. I am always open to um, any any type of suggestion that you guys have. Um, I always love when you guys suggest things. Obviously, this is not I'm going to build an adventure map. It's let's build an adventure map, uh, hence the series name. So, um, yeah, so there we go. Um, maybe take off of that, possibly. Um, there we go. So if we take a step back, it looks a lot better. So if we put, actually, let's put that in a corner, maybe one right here, something like that. And there we go. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks really good. I'm looking at, I'm looking at this right now, and, uh, you know, it seems, it seems, it seems good. It seems good. You guys have to, uh, kind of use your imagination, but, um, other than that, it's, it's, it's good. Um, <laughs> bottom line. Uh, one more thing before we, uh, put uh, in the lily pads in the pond. We should probably put some lily pads um, in the uh, the area right here just to make it a little bit uh, 
more scenery, scenic, I guess you could say. And there we go. Obviously, I already put two lily pads here. Um, just so you can hop over here. We might put a bridge in um, later on in the series, but uh, for now, uh, it's just lily pads. So, um, yeah, so I'm thinking that's looking really good. Let's actually take a screenshot of it. This will be in the, uh, this will be the, uh, the main thumbnail for it. I'll actually look good. F2, there we go. Screenshots. All right, so now on to the, uh, the, uh, the uh, pond, that's what it's called, or the lake, whatever you want to call it. So, um, we're just going to put in random uh, lily pads of the sorts. There we go, it's looking good. Remember, we have the fish in here. That side quest is still not done. Um, I actually did talk about it, I think it was the last episode I talked about it, where um, we can't do anything... Hey, cow. <laughs> we can't do anything with the, um, the quest right now, necessarily, uh, because of the 1.8 issue because we are not in 1.8 uh, we can't really use the um we can't really use the new 1.8 commands that you know we all love so um one person did suggest something let me set it let me not set it let me look at it um it was clash of clans something nice something some ethnic guy some ethnic guy that's what his name is okay so some ethnic guy um he said go to spigot um, mc.info on the top right of the page there will be a download link to download spigot 1.8 and I think that would work um, the one problem I'm concerned about is whether or not I'll be able to use voxel sniper um, in the whole thing because voxel sniper has been a big 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 yeah it has been a big big help uh, to create this adventure map and uh, without voxel sniper this adventure map just like would not be possible Everything you see right here, everything you see right now, um, is mainly, mainly Voxel Sniper. Obviously, this build was from uh, some people from Gazamo, which I might actually hire again, because they did a beautiful job. But uh, yeah, if it does support uh, Voxel Sniper, then I will definitely get it, because that is something that definitely interests me. But uh, right now, is as long as I don't know that it you know doesn't support Voxel Sniper, uh, I don't know if I said that right, but uh, yeah, as long as I don't know, uh, I won't get it. But I'll check it out, make sure it does have Voxel Sniper, and if it does, then I'll be good. Be good. I don't see <laughs> I'm having the worst time talking today. But um, yeah, I'll check it out. If it looks good and it does support Voxel Sniper, then yeah, I'm definitely getting Because we need those 1.8 uh, commands badly. So um, what we've been doing um, since the, I guess, the 1.8 came out, um, is we're just gonna build the map up, uh, make sure everything's good, and then once everything's good and we know everything is really good, uh, um, then uh, we'll switch over to 1.8, and then we'll do all the uh, the redstone and the mechanicals and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, guys, so I'm thinking that's looking really, really good. Um, maybe we could do something. Let's see. Maybe take a picture of right there. I don't know. Let's just do that again. There we go. Screenshot that, screenshot that, screenshots all around. So, um, yeah, guys, I actually don't know how long I've been talking. Um, I need to take a cool down because my commentary is very sloppy right now. I need, you know, I need a breather. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to quickly go check the time on the video, make sure we all are good. Um, take a breather. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. I took a breather. We're good. So... Um, I checked the time and I have been talking for 13 minutes straight. That is like a record for me personally um, with doing straight commentary. But um, no wonder my commentary was getting a little bit sluggish. So um, we're getting kind of towards the end of the episode. Uh, we're like 13 or 14 minutes in. And uh, what I want to do for the rest of the episode is just give some of my ideas that might be really good to the map. Maybe something that we might do in the future, but are just, you know, just uh, throws, you know, stuff like that. We'll just throw stuff at the fan, see what sticks. Don't know if I'm using that metaphor right or idiom. We'll see. So, um, yeah, first thing I had an idea for was um, command, not command box, note block. So, uh, what I was thinking is, if you guys ever been on, what's it called? It's a Minecraft server. Um, it's a Minecraft RPG server. Wincraft, right, that's the name. So, um, it's a Minecraft server named Wincraft. If you guys haven't been on it, what Wincraft does is basically they have command blocks under their map that are playing like a really cool RPG song 
kind of like Zelda, I guess, like a Zelda song. And it plays that nonstop. And depending on which area you are in the map, it'll play a different song, which is pretty cool if you guys ask me. So um, that's just one idea. What we could do with that is we could dig down, um, make a huge hole um, in the bottom of the map, and then copy and paste a schematic someone made um, of a RPG-based song. Uh, it could be any song, really, but, uh, you know, mostly an RPG-based song. And, uh, yeah, I think that might be a really cool uh, in implication. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's that. Um, if you guys were wondering, um, I actually haven't brought this up in pretty much any of the LaBam episodes. Um, uh, one thing that is happening is I obviously can't do it now because of the 1.8 um, commands, but uh, what is going to happen is every once in a while, um, there is going to be some uh, specific zombie spawns. Like uh, We wanted this uh, adventure map to be a lot like an RPG. So basically, you'll just, you'll just be walking along, and then suddenly a bunch of zombies will spawn. You'll kill all the zombies, and the zombies will drop special items for you, which I think would be really sick. Um, it kind of is copying Harrowbrine's Mansion and Harrowbrine's Return. Those adventure maps are really good. Um, this map is definitely inspired by a lot of it. Not not a lot of it, but some of it. Um, one being, obviously, the, uh, the zombie spawns that drop uh, certain rare items. So, um, I don't know if it's too much... Uh, uh, taking away from Herobrine's Return and Herobrine's Mansion, but I think that'd be a really cool perk. Um, maybe not zombies necessarily, um, maybe certain mobs with certain items on their head that makes them not zombies, but they still drop, you know, certain items. Um, I don't know, but I do want some specific type of enemy uh, spawning at random times that you have to kill, and uh, you'll just get more and more and more powerful throughout the game, which I think would be a really cool perk. Um, obviously, we can't do it right now, but, um, you know, it was just an idea. We're just throwing things around. Um, let's see. Anything else? One thing we also need to do, um, I don't think we're going to do it next episode, but maybe in the episode after that, um, we might go ahead and spiff up Elgor's lair, Elgor's cave, I might say. Um, we might spiff it up a little bit more, because right now, it is very basic. Like, just fence, glowstone, vines. It is very plain, very bland. Um, Elgor's Cave is something that we did at the very beginning of this map, and, uh, you know, we haven't really touched it since, so, um, I think it'd be really cool to go back to it, revisit some of the issues we have here, and, uh, yeah, maybe make it even better. So, yeah, guys, I think that's good. I think we're all good for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely think you guys... Wait, what? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of La Bam. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me out tremendously. And my name's Piantor, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys, and peace.